hello. Welcome back to another video. Um, welcome back to another video. Uh, today we're going to be hating on people because, <laughs> I don't know, I had this idea, all right, for a topic, and it was to basically kind of talk about uh, TikToks and it was, it was basically to kind of talk about TikTok creators or shorts creators or reels creators, whatever the hell you want to call them at this point. And, um, well, I hate to seem like a hater, you know what I mean? So I just, I didn't never follow through with the idea. And then I started seeing, you know, videos pop up with that kind of topic. And I was like, damn, I just, I really missed out. And uh, so now I'm going to give my two cents that, you know, you might not care about, but I just, I don't know. Got to have something to talk about, right? By the way, all right, we have been uh, talking about my little Kimi Moto Amazon exhaust down there for for quite a while. Okay, we've we've done a little kind of review on it and stuff like that, and we've also talked about how it's just falling to pieces. Well, guess what? All right, I seen this post that Kimi Moto released a statement or some shit about recalling this exact uh, exhaust pipe. So uh, maybe I'm gonna get my money back, or or maybe I'll get a new one. I don't know. We'll see. Something about it doesn't meet the EPA standards or something like that. I mean, that's a big no shit. Holy hell, man. Wow. Look how hot the water is. What? Make sure I don't get hit by a semi truck. Damn, dude. That's crazy. Y'all see that? Oh my god, it's all the way up the boat ramp. Alright, well there shouldn't be any boaters down here, or anybody down here to be honest. If they're down here, they're probably uh, selling selling a quick play or something, you know. Then I'm going to have to turn around. I don't have the boom stick on me, so you know, got to be careful. <laughs> what does that say? Tension anglers, minimum length limit on crappie? What? Wow, dude, that water's up really high. That's crazy. It did just rain yesterday, but it was more, I don't know, it was more so wind this way. We'll suck your cock for a rock. <laughs> what? Okay, so that's what's right here. James, James, okay, we're going to blur out the name. James will suck your cock for a rock. <laughs> we got the B word up there. We got a couple more D words. Uh, what else we got? Imagine the guy that's on this sign is like a viewer of the channel. <laughs> I found your sign, buddy. But I ain't got no rock for you, dude. Today we're going to be talking about TikTokers. Sorry, it took me so long to get to this point, but um, so whenever TikTok and stuff like that came around, even though TikTok's literally just a rebranded musically, if anyone knows what that is from back in the day, uh, you know the little cringe app where all the kids would get on there and lip sync and shit like that, which is basically what it is. Um, so yeah, anyway, short form content or whatnot kind of burst on to the scene really really large scale like i don't know what was it probably 20 2019 18 I, I can't remember i never i never used tiktok so i just don't i don't know i don't know when tiktok really came to be you know so and for me coming from a long form content creation background uh and you know growing up that's like literally all there was on youtube was the you know, long form stuff uh I, I i hated it you know i you know what i mean I absolutely hated the, the thought of shorts. Um, for one, I already know how that's going to go. There's just so much 
content uh, that's going up on TikTok and stuff like that, that it's impossible for the creator to really ever make any money from the platform themselves. So, you know, just like today, like if anybody says they make all hella money from TikTok, bro, getting all this money from shorts, bro, they're probably lying, okay? Most of these shorts or reels or whatever, they all have uh, what they call, would call a revenue share, and that's basically the money that they can afford to give various creators over the month. And you can only think that if there's a revenue share of like 20 million, then that has to be distributed to hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people who upload TikTok shorts, YouTube shorts, whatever the fuck you want to call it. So at the end of the day, I see no one profiting off of this except for the, the big corporation, TikTok or YouTube or whatever. And it's just, eh. And you know, if you're making short form content, you're not really gonna, you're not really gonna give a shit too much if you make 20 bucks off of a video. Whereas if you sit down and you take the time to record and edit a, a moto vlog or whatever, and it takes you, you know, three hours to get the footage, and then it takes you another three hours to edit the video or whatnot, you know, it's gonna take your time. So you're gonna want some sort of actual compensation, especially when there's ads being shown across your video for other companies. So, you know, there's that little bitch and thing. So, so here's my here's my point is like if you watch TikTok and you if if you watch any short form content please uh, tell me name at least five of the creators you've watched in your last fucking doom scroll on TikTok or shorts or whatever you, you can't you can't name it because you don't know you just you just go through and you really don't I don't know man it's like this compare it's like this if you watch this full video like over the course of however long it's going to be you can sort of figure out if you like me or not and you can kind of sort of you know figure out if you're going to come back to watch another video or you know if you like my personality or whatnot now that's kind of impossible to do whenever you only watch someone for less than 30 seconds 20 seconds 10 seconds and then you move on instantly and it's just something totally different you can't form no uh, i guess relationship with them like you could over a long form video So now that we got all that out of the way, okay, now it's time to hate on the kind of people that make these videos, all right? And and I hate, I do, I hate hating on people, especially that s people that are in the same space that I'm in, which is content. You know, I hate to, I hate to fucking just shit on someone, but some of you like TikTokers and short makers, y'all are like, damn man, y'all are aggravating as fuck. Number one, I want to point out as a group of people, and like I have no names for these people because I don't know who they are, but. Uh, it's the ones that always have the 10 advisors. They're they're like four foot three in, in, in height, which that doesn't matter. Hey, you can be four foot three, all right, if you want to. But at the end of the day, they're four foot three, um, and, and they have 10 advisors. They got some fucking Power Ranger ass helmet on. <laughs> they got, you know, they got some Power Ranger ass helmet on. They look like they're fitting to just suit up and be fucking Megatron or some shit. But um, it's them, okay? They're the first topic of discussion. And it's because they always have just the most it's just supposed to cringy as stupid shit, man. It's, you know, they'll be standing beside their motorcycle, never, never riding it. They're never riding it. They're just standing beside the motorcycle. Anyway, they're standing beside the motorcycle with some stupid ass caption, you know, beside it. Like, you know, I don't know, man. And they're standing beside their motorcycle and they're like, I don't know, either it's about a relationship quote or something, just, just completely just dumb. And, and, I, my God. See, I can't even fucking, I can't even get my words out. Like, maybe if he was riding the bike or something, you know? I, I don't know. Something. Something better. You gotta, you gotta think of something better. You need to get some more ideas, brother. So the next group we're gonna talk about is the, the gym bros who went out there. <laughs> the gym bros who went out there and got a fucking, they went out there and got him a Yamaha R3 or something, you know, something sweaty like that. And, uh, you know, instead of, Instead of wearing at least a shirt, you know, or something. Because at the end of the day, you know, people are already getting bitched out for not wearing leather or full gear. But but the gym people take it, uh, they take it one step further. Um, they, they just go shirtless. And instead of us seeing the road and where they're going or what they're doing, all we see is a camera pointed back at their, their shirtless body. Because that's just, that's, that's it right there, man. That's the, that's the content we need.
anyway, the, the gym bros, I don't have no other word for them. I don't know what they are. Maybe, uh, hell, men, men thirst traps, I guess. I don't know. But, like, their whole thing is, like I said, it's just having, like, a front-facing GoPro that's just looking at them or a 360 cam or whatever the hell it is, dude. And they're just shirtless. There's even one that I saw. This guy is sitting in his house. He is sitting in his humble adobe on the motorcycle with his shirt off and the helmet on like he is in the street fucking just racing. Like, what? Bro, you were sitting in your living room on your crotch rocket just sitting here yapping, man. What are you, what are you doing, bro? And it's about some relationship shit, man. About how heartbroken he is. I just don't I don't get it I don't get it what what bro you're in the middle of the living room on the motorcycle I get it you're a motorcycle content creator but like come on you could just take it out on the street and talk about it or wait until your next ride and then talk about your uh, girl issues come on man because I know I know if you understand what I'm talking about and you get it you're gonna be jumping on the edge of your seat like man somebody else understands oh motorcycles Look at them go! Let's see if they give me the fingers! What is that? Bats? What the hell is that? Oh damn, it's Harley Riders. I might not get it. <laughs> I got it! And if flexing your, your muscles on your motorcycle with your tinted visor is, is a cool thing, is a is a badass thing to you then you are so full of yourself that i don't know what to do for you brother all right the last category i want to head on is going to be the, the the shad boys okay and, and I, I gotta be careful with this one all right because there are good ways to articulate something that someone can relate to you know uh, as in depression or, or whatever that is because you know a lot of people include myself like i'm not happy all the time a lot of the time i'm not happy to be honest but um there's there's good ways and bad ways to do that over social media platforms and there's also people with bad intentions and there's people with good intentions so you know this is uh i'm gonna I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to step around this one the right way the way it should be step around so in the long form content mainly whenever you see like sad topics or something they're talking about it they're giving their experiences or whatever and they're you know telling you how they might have found closure in situations or whatever and i think that's good it's good because a lot of people don't have anyone to go to right or, or maybe they can't afford a therapist they can't afford to go and get mental help so you know at least at the end of the day there's some good people they can find on youtube to hear a similar experience to theirs and i, and I think that's completely fine um but it's whenever we get into mostly the short subject of it is that most of these guys will like uh, kind of openly push self-deleting if that makes sense like they'll post a video of someone maybe not even their self but someone maybe their self going super super fast right and, and they'll put some crazy shit like I might not make it home but that's all right you know like shit like that like no that's not all right okay don't don't hammer that into young people's heads who might want to get a motorcycle and they think it's badass to you know have a fucking a death wish all the time that's that's not okay it really isn't some of these kids will see that and they'll you know they'll think it's cool or edgy to go out and fucking you know try to try everything they possibly can to have a near-death situation to go back and tell their friends or post on youtube but it's those guys man and usually they do get a lot of views and that's why they keep reposting them because you know some people can relate to it like whenever you go out hey i get it a lot of people use motorcycles as an escape and i get that hey me too all right but whenever i go out it's to escape it's not to go out and actively be trying to damn near end my life every time now i may do stupid shit all right willies whatever but i'm not actively just trying to delete myself you know the moral of the story is quit trying to push that kind of destructive thinking on people like you know, whenever you go out, you should actively be seeking to fucking get murked. I don't know. I just see it as, as someone pushing destructive thought processes and, and, and getting some 20 bucks off of a video for it. And they're just, you know, they keep on repeating it, man. It's, I don't know. It's, it's, 
it's uh, it's aggravating to see. Over the bridge again. Oh, the motorcycle man went down here. Should I stop? Dude, I gotta stop. <laughs> I gotta stop. <laughs> Hello. How's this going? <laughs> yeah, I didn't think anybody would be down here fishing or on a boat, but some people like to test their luck, I guess. <laughs> it's, a, it's a 125. Yeah, they're just, I don't know, they're not fun to ride on the open roads like a cruiser is, but, I mean, it's fun to, it's fun to ride around the town. 97.8, what is that? Is that a street glide? Or maybe? A Harley? A Dyna? Man, those are, you care if I look at it? These are getting more popular. The carbureted Dynas. They like to, uh, they have di they have like stunt dinas, like do wheelies on them and stuff. And what's that one? Ultra limited. Ultra limited. I don't know nothing about Harleys. All I've ever had is Hondas. <laughs> we didn't start out on them neither. <laughs> <laughs> we had Hondas and Kawasaki's for a long time. Yeah, yeah I'm surprised y'all waved at me. Most of the people who ride Harleys, they don't never wave at me on that. They kind of look down on me. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> hard cores. You know, they forgot what their childhood was like. You ride what you had. They didn't start out on no hard. Started out, you can get a basket case, you put it together, build it yourself. First ones I got, I got a damn 150 Honda Dream and a 160. I took the two of them and put them together and made one that was wrong. It was nice meeting you. Y'all have a good day. <clears throat> we'll suck your cock for rock. Just reset. Gave me a BJ for pills. That's the first time I've ever seen a Dyna in real life. That's actually really cool. That was the best. Um, that was the best conversation I've ever had with Harley Riders. That's the first ones I've ever talked to. They were. Uh, they were great. They were just like the guy. Like last video, I said I fucking almost flipped the Harley Rider off. <laughs> Hell yeah. Now I gotta give a little shout out for my Discord because I know Rowdy's gonna love that conversation. Dude, I cannot leave here without doing a good wheelie. I just can't. I, this shit's terrible. That's better. That's better. It's way better. All right. Well, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, leave a comment. If you want to become a member, you can also see these videos uh, up to weeks early. No, no, not weeks. Maybe days. Um, and also, uh, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, uh, you can join the Discord community. Discord. We got a community Discord. Uh, link will be down below in the description. Don't ever sell out and be a weird TikToker. Or do it. I don't know. It's up to you. I really don't care. All right. I'll see y'all later.